All right, guys, so I'm going to be giving you a commentary here of my uh, Fusion Cup battle that I have with my buddy Uncle B-Stud. Uh, we played a few matches already, but this is one of our second matches, I believe. He leads off with the Quagsire, and I lead off with my Wish Cash, which is a pretty good matchup for me. I'm going to go ahead and uh, go for this Mud Bomb just so I can get the first shot off. Doesn't do too much, but... Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to let this go through because it's more than likely a uh, stone edge, which doesn't do a lot of damage. I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to build up to a uh, blizzard, but then I'm going to go for a mud bomb. I'm going to put some pressure on him and more than likely he's going to shield this. Yep. So he went ahead and shielded, it, which is a big no, no for him. He wasted a shield. And this time I believe he's going for an earthquake. He saw how little damage the stone edge did. And that's exactly what he does. So I shielded correctly there. I went ahead and built up as high as I could, but I'm going for the mud bomb just to try to finish him off a little bit. And what I really want to do is I want to uh, farm him down from here. I'm not going to use any more charge moves. I know he's going to go for a stone edge, which is not going to kill me or take me out. Rather, I'm going to farm him down and I'm going to use this charge move now on the next Pokemon. And I'm going to use as a mud as a mud bomb. Hopefully I can get two off because I know that he is probably going to shield, which he does. And I wasn't able to get off that second mud bomb. So I don't want to bring in Probo Pass because uh, Toxicroak has counter and a mud bomb. So I bring in my lantern. He switches out to Alteria, which is all right. Go ahead and go for my Thunderbolt. Put a little bit of pressure on him. I believe he's out of shields totally. So he has to take every hit now, which is his fault. The sky attack won't do a lot. So I'm not going to waste my shield on this. I'm going to leave it for my Probo Pass. Because I know I'm going to have some trouble once I bring in that. Uh, once he brings in his Toxicrope. So I'm going to bring in my Probo Pass. Brought him in early. Mainly because I didn't want to use a shield. And Probo Pass is a perfect counter to Alteria. He... Everything that it, everything that Alteria hits it for is going to be non-effective. So I'm going to hit it with this uh, rock slide. It's going to probably take it out. And now I'm pretty much going for that rock slide. And hopefully I can get to another rock slide again and take them out. If not, then I'm in big trouble. Nope. But don't forget I got the lantern in the back. I still have a shield, which is good. This is why you want to save your shields. That would have took me out, but I'm able to get to this Thunderbolt and take him out for the win. And this is a perfect example of why you want to save your shield. So we go ahead and get into the second match. He leaves off with his Ivysaur. Oh, I mean, his, uh, his Venusaur. I switch out into Altaria. And I noticed that when he brought when I switched into Altaria, he brought out his uh, Marowak. So that told me that he didn't have a good counter to Altaria. So I went ahead and I applied as much pressure as I could, and I even let this uh, next attack come through, uh, which I believe is a Shadow Ball. It's not going to take me out. I think it takes out like maybe 50% of my health. Yep, so not even. I would say maybe 40, 45%. So I went ahead and committed to farming him down. I need to take away a shield, so I'm going to go ahead and go for a Sky Attack as soon as this comes out. And you don't want to go for your highest uh, or your hardest hitting attack when you know they have two shields, because more than likely they're going to shield it up and you just wasted all that energy. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, use this shield here because I have a sky attack ready to come in and I want to use it on this. This is going to be super effective and I know he's not going to shield twice on just one Pokemon. Oh, he actually does shield. So he takes out the Altaria and you can't bring in Probo Pass. So I'm going to bring in my Wish Cash. And I'm going to start working them down right now. These mud bombs are going to start going off. I don't want to shield because I'm not going to get KO'd by anything he hits me with. He brings in his uh, Venusaur. I shield. And the only reason I shielded this is because he doesn't have any shields. Remember that. I just used my last one and I'm about to hit this blizzard on him and one shot him. So I pretty much took out that Venusaur in one shot. That was nice. And 
Now my Proba Pass is in. I should lose this matchup. He's going to hit me with a Mud Bomb more than likely, and that's going to probably take out most of my health. But I may, I'm going to be able to get to the Rock Slide and finish him off. So what we learned from the match is that you don't have to use your shield every single time someone throws a charge attack. You're able to get through most attacks. You just have to figure out uh, the right timing to use it. Uh, the other thing is you want to read their team when you start off. You look at their first six Pokemon and you try to figure out what they're most weak to. When I looked at his, he's pretty much weak to my Wish Cash and my Probopass uh, heavily, so I sticked with those. But I hope you guys learned something.